Baby Bus. Princess Milky and Fergus the Snowman. Deep within the enchanted forest, there was a snowy land of eternal winter. In the middle of the snow stood a beautiful red house, Princess Milky's Dairy. The dairy sold all kinds of milky desserts, like milk cookies, milk pudding, and milk cake. One day, someone made three snowmen in the snow. It looked like a family of three. The largest being Papa Snowman, the second largest being Mama Snowman, and the smallest being their snowman baby. Through the window, Milky saw the snowmen standing alone in the snow. Hmm, they must be cold and hungry standing outside. I'll bake them a plate of milk cookies. Milky baked a plate of delicious milk cookies and put them into the mouths of the snowmen. And then something amazing began to happen. The snowmen moved. Papa Snowman shook his arms. Mama Snowman moved her feet, and the little snowman baby opened his mouth, saying, "Hello, Milky. Thanks to your cookies, we're alive." <laughs> my name is Fergus the Snowman, and this is my daddy and my mommy. We are the snowmen. Wow! Amazing. The snowman can talk. From that day on, the snowman and Milky have been good friends, and they have had a great time every day, happily drinking milk and making milk ice cream. Fergus, come and try my new special, mango milk. Mama snowman and Papa snowman, let's make apple pies together tomorrow. Fergus the snowman helped Milky greet guests and made everybody laugh. Gradually, the dairy had more and more customers, and was hustling and bustling with business. Humph! It's Princess Milky who has taken all of my business. No wonder I have fewer and fewer customers. The Flame King was absolutely furious. The Flame King, the owner of the Flaming Dairy, was as tall as a three-story building, and his entire body was covered in flames. Oh, and he had a really bad temper. Hmm. I have to find a way to defeat her. Ah! I've got it. That night. The Flame King snuck over to Milky's window, breathing in and breathing out. Whoosh! The ashes from his nose sprayed into the milk pail. The pail of milk suddenly turned black and dirty. The next day, the guests complained. Oh my! Why is your milk black, Milky? No!、Oh, has your milk gone bad, Milky? The milk I just drank gave me the bubble guts. Ah,、uh, how did that happen? How did our fresh milk turn black? Milky kept crying out of anxiety. Fergus the snowman decided to help Milky by staying up all night, sacrificing his sleep. He tried to find out who had played the dirty trick on Milky. Later on that night, the Flame King snuck over to Milky's window again and murmured, "No one will come to your shop, Mikey. We'll see who has the last laugh." Just as the Flame King was ready to start making more trouble, Fergus the Snowman rushed out, saying, "Stop it! Oh, it was you who caused the trouble at the dairy. Shame on you, Flame King!" Oh. What a tiny snowman! And you want to stop me? <laughs> Not gonna happen. The Flame King opened his mouth and let out a flame that surrounded Fergus the Snowman. Papa Snowman and Mama Snowman rushed over to try and save their little snowman baby. <laughs> You're gonna melt here tonight. With that, the Flame King opened his mouth again. Boom! 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 One fireball after another shot out of his mouth. Fergus the snowman's parents ducked left and ducked right, trying to dodge the flames. The loud noises woke up Milky. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw the snowman being chased around, trying to dodge fireballs. Uh, 
What should I do? What should I do? I have to find a way to save them, or the flames will melt them. Milky turned circles in the snow three times. Aha! I've got it! Snow is made of water, and water extinguishes flames. Milky rolled up a few snowballs and threw them at the Flame King. Everyone, throw snowballs at the Flame King! The snowman quickly followed Milky's lead, throwing snowballs at the Flame King. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! The snowballs, like cannonballs, landed on the Flame King one after the other, and gradually the flames covering his body became weaker and weaker. Ouch! Stop it! Stop it! I surrender, and the fight ends here! My flames are dying out! The Flame King ran away with his head in his hands, never daring to visit Milky's dairy again. My dairy was saved from destruction, thanks to you all, finding out what the Flame King was up to. And you saved us, because we're friends. Friends help each other fight the big bad guys. <laughs> Milky and the snowman burst into laughter. From then on, no one caused them trouble. So Milky and the snowman lived a happy and peaceful life in the snow.